Well, I'm sitting here with um, my friend Megan from Australia, and we are going to put together a little video for you to showcase our new Delicate Garden stamping plate, uh, CJS 58. Um, tons and tons of really pretty, delicate images, and a uh, couple of layered ones that I think we'll go through this guy and show everybody how to position all the layers so they fit underneath the outline. So, uh, hi Megan. Hi Debbie. How are you? Well, I'm happy <laughs> to be here. Welcome to Canada. I'm having so much fun. I love it here. I'm glad you love it here. We love having you here. <laughs> so I already put these little guys together here. So we'll, we'll use them to stamp on because she and I both have decorated nails. Show us your nails. <gasps> Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, they make me weep. <laughs> beautiful little flamingos on there. And, oh, I love it. Love it. I love the way you positioned your gems too. They're so pretty. Thank you, Debbie. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So what are we going to do first? Why don't we do, let's do some flowers. Okay. And we'll layer those guys up. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do this guy. Okay. And I'll do it once and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Thank you. <laughs> um, the question I get often is how do I know how the layers go on the plates? Mm -hmm. um, for this one, the one we're going to be doing right now, this flower, Use the outside image, your last image, the outline, as your roadmap on how you're going to get there. Okay. So I'm going to put this guy down first. Mm -hmm. And then when I look here, I can see that my little leaf here goes right underneath. Okay. Probably tucks right into that little spot there. So that's what's going to be our guide for how to get it lined up for this. Okay. All right. So what do we want to do on a blue flower or on a blue base? Why don't we do a pink flower? flower with a bit of shimmer. 29, do you know what color that is? Chloe. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> that was you. It was. That was you that day we were doing a live. You're like, Chevy, <laughs> shame on you. It's your daughter's name even. Chloe. Yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> I definitely need to learn my numbers of my polishes. Um, yeah, I like that. And I'm looking for a green. And I'm actually looking for Sassy Monster, and he's not here. So why don't we use 43 instead? This is Sassy Monster. Okay. One of my faves. And but, number five? What's that called? Uh, number five is... Uh, it's it's pink. It's Wild Child. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Megan. <laughs> Getting me in trouble. And, and what's this one called, number 43? That one's called Green. Green means go. Green means go. See? See? I knew half of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Megan, I'm so impressed. <laughs> I'm glad somebody knows the names of my polishes. Okay, I always give a quick little clean here before I start. Just, be, just to make sure that there's absolutely no oils or anything on your plate. Okay. And when I'm cleaning, I use either our plate cleaner mm -hmm. or I use a polish remover that's got a little bit of acetone in it. Okay. That'll make sure that all these teeny tiny delicate little lines are <laughs> clean to receive polish. And it doesn't leave a film on the plate. And it doesn't leave a film on the plate. If you try and use something that ha um, the acetone free polish remover, yep. um, it they often leave a film. Yeah, they do. Um, some of the polish removers too have oils added so that it's better for our cuticles. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that makes it absolutely wretched for stamping. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pop those off just so that the stamping is a little bit easier to get at. But here's my flower. So you use quite a bit of polish there. Uh, probably a lot more than I need. Mm -hmm. Light scrape, even lighter on the pickup. And then we're gonna go straight to the nail. in frame for that. I didn't even pay attention to that. So it's important too when you're picking up off the plate that you go right from the plate straight to the nail without turning your stamper. Okay. When we're layering if you turn your stamper then trying to figure out where that next layer goes can be really tricky. Makes it more confusing I it guess. It really does. All right so now we're gonna go in with green means go. Thank you Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Just being a smart aleck I am. I love it. <laughs> smart aleck away. Light scrape. Light on the pickup. And now because I took a look at where things go there before, this guy's going to go right 
about there approximately. Mm -hmm. And does it matter if it lines up perfectly? Never. Honestly, I almost prefer it when it doesn't. It mm. makes it a little more artistic-y. Me too. So, do we want to outline this in hot pink? Do we want to go to a black or a chocolate brown? What do you mm. think? I'm thinking hot pink. Let's go hot pink. I like it. Yeah, let's go Let's go wild child. A little bit of wild let's, child. Let's go a little bit wild. I'm on Just, holidays. <laughs> you can be as wild as you like. <laughs> Uh, this is how I usually um, mix my polishes, just rolling it in my hands. Okay. Really important that your polishes are well mixed. Because there's a lot of pigment in there. Tons of pigment in there. Mm -hmm. Four times as much as a, as a stamping polish even. So, yeah, they can... They need mixing often. If you're having a hard time lifting, it can often be because your polishes need to be mixed. That's a beautiful color. Very bright. Now, take your time, pop in over top. Now that uh, green is pretty light, so it's kind of hard to see. So I'm just gonna go by the pink and assume that I lined it up. Well, I lined it up fairly good. Kind of missed, but it's still pretty. Gorgeous. Pretty for a miss. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. There we go. All right, so a full coverage image can be a real challenge. Can't wait to see this one. Yeah, and I say it can be a real challenge. And it, well, it can, but it takes some practice. And more than practice, it takes a little bit of planning. Yeah. So again, take a peek at your final image and roadmap the rest of it. So I'm going to go with my little bird. It's really kind of delicate and fine but there's a little bird over here on this side there's the bird's head and his back there's his belly and the stick and then there's his little legs so that's what we're gonna use as a reference point okay so that we're lined up as best we can be for this guy so what do we want to do this guy on what color I think that one yeah the blue guy my nails are too long, I can't hold it. <laughs> All right, get that guy out of the way. And that one. And now we'll pick some colors. So, what do you think? Well, what's your outline going to be? I'm gonna say 23, chocolate brown. Yeah, that's a good one for outlining. I love that guy. Okay. And then we want flowers and leaves, right? So we've got mm -hmm. some greenery, we've got some flowers. So let's go maybe back to our pink. Chloe, get her into the mix. And how about something peachy? Yeah. Pinky, peachy, and then we need a green. Um, but I don't want too bright of a green, so why don't we go with this guy, one of the new ones. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty. Yeah. So we're gonna start here. What do I wanna start with? <clears throat> Let's go for the peachy, so that the head of our bird is a little bit peachy. Nice light scrape. I'm gonna push down on my plate a little bit so that scrapes a little bit more even. All right, you can do a little bit of cleanup. And now I'm going to position this so that I know exactly where that little bird is. And that is going to decide where the rest of the layers go so that I have that reference point. Now that guy just folded over on us a little bit here. Cool. And hopefully I can just lift him out of the way. Nope, he's attached, little stinker. So, you can start over if you want. I'm gonna try a rescue mission here instead. And I'm gonna use one of these pointy little Q-tips. Let's see if we can rescue this guy. There. Beautiful. Go with that. I'm lazy. I don't want to start over again. 
Well, you've got so many layers yet to go, it's not gonna matter. Exactly. And then you put the outside layer down and really. Okay, so layer number two. We'll use the Chloe here. So when I lift this guy up, I've got that little bird in mind as reference. And it's his tummy that I'm positioning. There we go. It's gonna end up looking like um, camo. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We actually made a camo plate in with our bird plate. Two for one. Two for one. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's put a little bit of greenery in there. Push down on the plate a little bit. Okay, and I'm going in with those little birdie feet. That's gonna show me where I wanna put this layer. And it's gonna put his little head in there. So feet onto that stick. Oh, so pretty. And more camo. <laughs> you know what? You could totally use that to make camo. You really could. <laughs> I don't know if anybody would notice the bird, depending on your color. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready for our final layer. I love how when you're layering these ones that they look like nothing sometimes until you get that final outline on it's, and it just comes to life pulls everything together comes to life I like that all right so now take your time and make sure you're aiming at that little bird and everything else will just kind of fall in look at that hold slowly pull back get a little bit of that Pull up on the side. That's okay, so we'll clean that up. Look at that little birdie. So cute. Happy little bird. All of his pretty colors. Very, very cute. Isn't that sweet? Too fun. So I don't know if you want to try a full coverage one or do you want to do a different flower maybe? There's so many pretty, you know what else I love is the bird house. I think we should do a birdhouse. You want to do a birdhouse? Mm. Well, we have the bird, so... We have the bird, so he needs a house? He needs somewhere to live. Fair enough. Let's give him a house. Are you going to do this one? Yeah. All right. See if I can get this guy together. We will have these very soon, too. These lovely little tip holders and a bunch of different um, shapes of tips, too. For That's exciting. Yes. So exciting. I love practicing my layering and playing with the images when the plates come in. So that'll be good. Give you something to do it on. You don't have to do it on yourself. Mm. <laughs> you know, when, we, when you work on gel, it's one thing to, to yeah. switch things out. But if you're if you're working on polish, yeah. It's a lot of work. It's nice to have um, somewhere else to play. All right. So there you go. Let's switch this around so that okay. you can see it instead of me. Oh, crash. So we have three layers here, right? Three layers, three layers, yes. Right. So up here, this this is going to become the leaves yep. on the little branch at the top. Yep. And then this is like the little, the little window bit so he can see out of his house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, and then this is like the front, and then this is the side. So that's yeah, gonna so help like me the... decide what what colors I want to use. Exactly. So could I be like really tricky, and could I do like say brown, like we used the brown just before? Yep. Up here, and then have a different color here because I don't necessarily want his house brown. Absolutely. Cool. I'm Absolutely. Gonna try that. Okay, I think that one looks great. I like that guy. Yeah. And then that's... should we? There's your brown. And then what are we gonna outline mm -hmm. in? Ooh, okay. So Actually should we using? Oh, I know. I have an idea. Ah, yeah, perfect. Mhm. Mm Stone cold. Stone cold. 
Stone Cold. <laughs> All right. So, I say with oh, a question mark. That one's already open. Oh, sorry. Yes, I already I opened that one. one. All right. So we're going to do this one for the the branch at the top. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do the the blue for the house. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want for the roof? Um. It's not going to show as much. It's going to be mostly our stone color, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So how about what goes nicely with that blue? Yellow or is that weird? What about if we went with the other blue? Oh yeah. The other new blue. Yep. And do that. It'll pop more behind the stone. Oh, I love it. Yeah? Oh, I love it. Ooh. Okay, let's try that. Let's try it. Okay. So I would probably, only because my brain works that way. Because <laughs> of the way you're gonna scrape, right? Because of the way I'm gonna scrape. I don't wanna mm. scrape down because then my brown will end up on the house. So it's gonna be give you a cleaner. So I wanna scrape this way. Yeah, gonna give you a cleaner workspace. So I have that one ready. Whoop. And this one ready. Lay the brown in, and then the blue. I love that color. It's so pretty. Especially with brown. <laughs> Hopefully that should pick up. I think it will. Perfect. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, perfect. A little bit of tidy up. Yeah, I got it all. Okay. So I need to make sure I have enough room for the side of my house, right? Yeah, good call, my dear. Well, your positioning is important. And then press and hold. Make sure that transfers. Awesome. Beautiful. I love this. All right. Mm, I might just stay this way. Might as well, eh? Uh-huh. And then blue. And then are you going to do green for the little leaves? I think I need to. Mm hmm Well, I don't want that one because that could be a little bit... Too light? Do you I think it could be light just because this is... That's green. Actually, that's the same color. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Something bright, like glee tree green. Oh, what about the lush... New leaf? Or lush leaf? Yeah. I think that one. Do it. Yeah, this one's a little bit. I think it tree's a little neon. I think it doesn't fit with our palette that we're no. working with. Even though they're really tiny. You'd almost get away with it because they're so tiny. That's true. Oh. Oh, just press down. Yep. There you go. Gonna clean up first. Yeah, clean my stamper. Forgot about that bit. I often get totally scraped and then go, oops. But if you move fast, you can still usually pick it up. This blue, this is bluebell, right? It is. <laughs> <laughs> right. You <laughs> what, knew that, didn't you? What Megan said. So clearly I need to sit down with my list of colors and, and get to know them a bit better. Do some memorizing. Yeah. I, I'm so busy doing development in all areas that um, sadly the naming gets. So what set. I'm gonna do is line this up. Yeah, right up against the first layer we did of the house. And then picture your little leaves up there too where they're gonna end up. I have a little bit of green on the roof of the house but I don't think it'll matter once the... Um... Once the outline goes now? No. Mm, I'm loving it. Oh, it looks cute even just like that. It does. All right, let's get ready for the outline. Let's bring this baby to life. Exactly. Oh, yeah, really? You're making there me nervous, go. Debbie. My oh, hands are sweating. Oh, goodness, no. Don't be nervous because of me. Good grief. It's just me. It's just you. <laughs> Oh, what a perfect pickup. Yay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna take my time. Yep. 
I love it when people pay attention to my dictation. <laughs> You can position two kind of from up to down. Like you start below, get your house organized or get the tree organized. Oh, do we like the, I don't know if that's working for me. You know, I loved it until we outlined it. Yeah. I think I wrecked it with my outline suggestion. Do you know what I think? I wouldn't, I would probably not outline this and I would just use a darker outline on the tree. On the, let's do it. On the, um, the house. On the house itself. Mm and leave the tree. Mm. Okay, so what if we, to, because we've just stamped a bunch yeah, of layers, we, we don't wanna yeah. change it. Mm -hmm. So why don't we- Just outline the house. Let's outline the house, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and just outline, or not outline, but we'll re-stamp- re the branch. The branch. Mm -hmm. And then I bet you will love it. Okay. So yeah, let's do a clean up. That's probably your best bet. You have to push down hard. Yeah, oh, you do. Make sure that all those little lines on that house are totally cleaned out. Perfect. The cleaning house. Cleaning house. Completely cleaning house. Um, let's go blue wise. What blue would you want? Teal. What about this pretty dark teal? Yeah, why not? So in this case then, we're just going to put our paint just on the on outline the of the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's teal or no teal this. Teal or no teal it. Teal or no deal, maybe. Oh, this is gonna be pretty. I love that color. It's beautiful. No. Oh. I'm a big teal girl. I think that's pretty obvious. Ah. Uh, oh, there we go. That's now perfect. we're talking. <laughs> so this is actually perfect to show you that just because you did that one and yeah, didn't like doesn't it doesn't mean you have to start again doesn't mean that you're yeah you're stuck starting completely at the beginning and so now all we'll do and let's use a different color brown so that just in case we're not quite bang on then okay. it just looks like shadowing yeah okay so that's number 31 mm. It's either cocoa or chocolate. A touch of chocolate. I think this one is you had me at chocolate. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. This one, oh, is this pure cocoa and this one's you had me at chocolate? Ah, uh, pure cocoa and you had me at chocolate. Okay. Yeah. That was a team effort, that one. That was a team effort. Most of the effort made by you. <laughs> I was kind of a spectator on that one. <laughs> Offering your opinion. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love it. That is pretty cool. It looks like you hand painted it. <laughs> totally looks like you hand painted it. No, it, it wouldn't look that good if I hand painted it. <laughs> but that's the plan. I love it. Do you know what I feel like though? I feel like I want to redo the leaves too. Do you? Yeah. You want them to have a little more yeah. green back in yep. there? Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight back over with the same color. Go for it. Just to take out that little bit of that um, stone color. Yeah. Yep. You could do that with a little bit different color too if you wanted to. Yeah. And that way you can just say, no, no, I totally meant to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, and being able to look through there and take your time gives you so many options. Ah. Oh. That's better. Yep, that was a good call. Very good call. Beautiful. I love, it. I love it. Let's put it together with the bird. Exactly. This one's a little off colored. The first one we did. Not quite cohesive with the other two, but. No, oh, that's okay. Still really pretty. Very cute. Now, what's this plate called again? That is Delicate Garden. Mm -hmm. Delicate Garden. And can I get that now? You can get that on Monday. So that's, yeah, you can get that now. I can get that now? <laughs> By the time we get this edited enough, you can get that now. 
<laughs> I love it. So many delicate images on there. It's perfectly named. Thank you. Yeah, there's lots of lots of pretty stuff on this plate. I love the flowers and I love the moth. He's one of my favorites too. The little bike. That's sweet. It's gorgeous. A little basket. Like you wouldn't even have to use all the layers if you don't want to. If you just like that, you could exactly just have that because yeah. there's so much detail in that. Yeah. Or if you just wanted to have the um, one area have a little bit of color. Yeah. Like can... say in the, the yeah. flowers. Yeah. If you want it to be blue, you could pop it in there and make it match the rest of your mani for sure. Very cute. Well, thank you so it. much for spending a bit of time with me thank at my for having me. stamping desk here. And um, we're so happy you came to stay with us and visit us from mm -hmm. all the way from Australia. All the way. Yes. All right. Way. Well, we're going to put a link to our shop and we're also going to put a link to Megan's uh, shop in Australia at the bottom of this. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in store. Sounds good. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. So okay, good. update. <laughs> we decided that we needed this beautiful little image to be more cohesive. So we just simply took our teal or no deal, which we used to outline our pretty little house here, and went over top of what we had done before. And now look, voila. Perfect. All right, we're out again. <laughs>